This distribution right here on Front Street, Marshaba, shows you the hunger and the need uh, for the people of Abaco that the foreign people are still feeding and the government of the Bahamas has forgotten. Downtown Marshaba, you see Dove Plaza. You see that boat over there that's still being done. But this is Dove Plaza. Good to see that coming out, but just want to show you what's going on here. This used to be the old island log building. That's no more. And I just want to get in the heart of the distribution here and see all, show you all what's going on here in, in Abaco. As I say, come here. You can see the line. This is the old uh, First Caribbean Bank. And the line goes all the way around, all the way around, all the way here, all the way around. And you got tough enough security, finally got a job. Got to see security here. You always had a job, and we just come here to show you what's going on here on this distribution center here, and to show you what's here and what's available. And there's a lot of need here. As Kai Mills tried to uh, IDA, that's the organization that's given this out every every week. They have given these out, trying to help people. But thank God for them. Um, the government of the Bahamas has forgotten the people, but somebody still is doing a giveaway, and it shows you the need. There's a lot of needs. There's a lot of need here. Hey, girl. A lot of need, a lot of need here. I see my girl there. She don't want me to talk to her this morning, but she's still safe. So we can let, leave that between her and God. Uh, people don't like when you speak the truth. They like that fake news, so I'm not going to put them on camera. Uh, they don't want to talk to me because I speak about uh, the MP. But that's their thing. Good to see you. But this is what's going on here as I try to to show uh, the people what's going on here in Abaco. Uh, a lot of people there, everybody get mad. Uh, I don't know what it's what, but I'm just doing the video. A lot of people uh, don't, don't want to be filmed, but I just letting the world know the need uh, what we need in Abaco and the amount of people that needs as we look at the whole of this building right here, Commonwealth, uh, First, First Caribbean Bank. It used to be First Caribbean Bank. I get cursed all the time when I'm doing these videos. Mind they hungry, but they, they're hungry, but they still got enough energy to curse me just because I'm doing a video in the Bahamas. I, I don't understand that kind of attitude um, but I'm still gonna do my video I'm not gonna be intimidated and um, of all this line I don't see any behemoth that I recognize one behemoth up front there but of all this all these people there's not one single behemoth that I recognize and I'm not discriminating everybody needs to eat um, I don't know who's behemoth from who is not behemoth but I know people who I recognize, and I don't recognize of these hundred people here, I don't recognize one. So uh, it's so sad that uh, my people ain't lining up. Uh, one NGO say, uh, the Bahamian people proud. They don't want nothing, but these people ain't proud. Uh, the line is there, all the way there. And it shows you the need. I'm just doing the filming. You, tell me uh, what else is going on and uh, I don't like being in no place where I'm outnumbered and I'm, and I'm threatened and all that stuff this one this Kai Care video here so as I um, um, conclude this video this is what they say that uh, Bahamians are not poor uh, this is this is this is this is uh, one reason I could agree because there's no 
uh, behemoths of here that I know that are on the line, not one, not one, one was here. Uh, she just robbed me, that's one of Darren Henfield. Uh, Fon tell me I must uh, go find a job. Uh, Darren gave me a job to uh, secure things or uh, to uh, uh, bodyguard things away from the people. I ain't gonna take that job. I can stay in this job that I got, driving taxi, making nothing, but trying to draw light to a vexing situation as uh, we, the people, we are the, we the people, um, it's hard. I don't even know what to say anymore. All I can do is, is, is take the videos and, and uh, be amongst the people. I don't want no food. I don't want any food. I just want to show the world what's going on in my town of Abaco, and I have a constitutional right to do so, as the line is all the way around First Caribbean Bank. Um, Kai is spending time doing something, letting the world know what is going on in my island of Abaco. Uh, because Kai cares. That's why I'm here. On the streets of Abaco, letting the world know what's going on. As I conclude my video here on the top of Dove Plaza, and you could see a little bit more as I'm elevated, you could see a little bit more of what's going on here with the distribution uh, of goods. But would you believe that uh, <laughs> that boat over there <coughs> That boat over there um, crushed, crashed into this building right here uh, and break this roof off right here. And right up here, it's about 20 some feet. Uh, it was said that there were four feet of water in this building. And it's, it's, it is as high as many roofs are. So you know, we as a people are lucky to be alive. And you can see, anybody that knows Dove Plaza, uh, J.S. Johnson right on the end there. I gotta go down there and find out from J.S. Johnson when they're gonna relocate, but this is where the boat, that boat right there, um, was resting and battering the roof of this building right here on Dove Plaza. That's how much water was here as they try to repair uh, a once um, famous building here in Abaco, Dove Plaza. It's one of them car care videos. It's the first time you could walk from one end of Dove Plaza <laughs> on the top floor uh, down to the other end almost as I am bored and I'm trying to find a way of doing something meaningful. And it's a good thing when I see people, um, Abaco fellas, that come from abroad and say, Kai, thank you so much for the videos. But this is uh, the boat right there that caved in the roof of Dove Plaza. And this is where my doctor, Dr. Charity, spent hurricane right up here, along here. And, um, I like to know when this place is going to reopen. This is J.S. Johnson. Uh, I'm going to send this to somebody in J.S. Johnson to find out why haven't they relocated. This place collected a lot of money. So J.S. Johnson, uh, the first, one of the first insurance place in Abaco, you can see they're the only part that has a roof. Um, every other part of this has been torn down, but J.S. Johnson must have some clout that their building haven't been torn down, that it's, uh, the roof is still intact. The structure still looks um, good. That is why they've kept J.S. Johnson. They haven't kept the, the sign, but they got the sign tying upside down, but uh, let's, let's, let's get this right. This is my insurance, my vehicle insurance. But the sad thing about it is nobody from J.S. Johnson has told the people from Abaco where and when, almost two years later, uh, they have not secured a building
to come back to take care of their many customers. Uh, the government is one thing, but when you see I have an agency as J.S. Johnson, and they haven't uh, spoken or informed their many customers in Abaco on what they about to do, it is disheartening. It is unacceptable um, for the monies that they have collected over the years um, from Abaco to make us have to work harder to contact them and to pay for our existing insurance. As I uh, show a view of the mud that is no longer. This is one of these Kai Kia videos on top of the world in Marshaba.